Hello, everybody. Welcome to this new video about how to use PyDHM to obtain the numerical reconstruction of holograms. In this opportunity, I want to show you how to use the uh, angular spectrum approach to obtain the reconstruction of a hologram record in off-axis architecture. So I am using PyCharm to develop my Python project. So this is the code that we want to create. However, I want to show you from the beginning. So the first step is create the Python file. Uh, we need a name, for instance, a sample angular spectrum. Uh, okay, after create the Python file, so the first step is call the library so from pydhm we need to import a utility package and also from pydhm we need to import a numerical propagation package mm -hmm. so okay the next step is loading the hologram so the hologram is call from utility function, oh, sorry, utilities, uh, image read, and the name file of the hologram. So the name file for this opportunity is this one. The hologram correspond to a user test target. So I want to show the hologram, so from utilities, image shoot and uh, I want to show the hologram and it's possible to add a title so I don't know hologram user okay so I will run this part of the project a sample and okay this is the hologram that I want to reconstruct using the angular spectral approach so okay the next step is create uh uh the numerical reconstruction right however i want to show you the fourier transfer of the hologram in order to visualize the uh diffraction of the earth so i will create the fourier transfer from utilities the function fourier transfer of the hologram Uh, okay, so I want to visualize, visualize the intensity. So intensity Fourier transfer uh, from utilities. Uh, intensity, uh, the intensity of the Fourier transfer. And uh, I want to uh, display the Fourier transfer, uh, the logarithmic version. So this variable must be true. Uh, sorry. And finally, from utilities, uh, image show an uh, intensity, and it's possible to add a title. So uh, I don't know for the transfer hologram. Uh, okay, so let's see what happened. So this is the hologram. Uh, the Fourier transfer. Okay, so we have three diffraction orders, the plus one order, DC order, and less one order. So to obtain a uh, image, uh, it's necessary to create a spatial filter. So let's create the spatial filter right now. PyDHM has different function to create the spatial filter. So the spatial filters are um, uh, the circular filter, rectangular filter, and manual rectangular filter. More information about the filters you can find in the website of the library PyDHM. The link from the library is in the description of this video. So I want to use in this opportunity the manual rectangular filter so let's create the filter. So, okay, filter. 
is equal from utilities the function s s f m r so this variable needs the hologram to create the filter and a boolean variable true or false if you want to display the Fourier transfer or after apply the filter. So, okay. Uh, after create the spatial filter, so it's possible right now to implement an angular spectral approach. So output equal from numerical propagation, angular spectral, and angular spectral needs uh, five parameters. The parameters are the following. Uh, the field to uh, propagate with the angular spectrum, see the propagation distance, the wavelength is the wavelength of the illumination source used to record the hologram, and the dx and dy are the pixel size for the input and output place along x and y direction, okay? So uh, in this opportunity, uh, the, the field will be filtered, okay? The propagation distance is 70 uh, millimeters, and the wavelength is 0 0.00063. Uh, in millimeters and the pixel size in x is 0. Point, uh, let me see 0. 0.0069 all oh, all you need must be the same of course so uh, all parameters would be at uh, the same units right so okay all units are in millimeters. Uh, okay, I want to show the intensity. So intensity is equal. So from utilities, I want to compute the intensity of the output. Uh, okay. Um, Finally, utilities image should, and I want to show the intensity. Uh, a possible title, uh, intensity reconstruction. Okay, so let's start. So if we run this little code, this is the hologram. This is the Fourier transfer of the hologram. And this is uh, the Fourier transfer of the hologram, but in this case is the Roy selector. So I need to select the region where I want to create the spatial filter. So this is the spatial filter, right? And finally, this is the intensity reconstruction. Okay, but what if you don't know the propagation distance? So if you don't know the propagation distance, so you can add this line to your code. Uh, I have the lines here. So let me copy this. So, okay. So let's suppose that I don't know the propagation distance. So I want to comment this part. And this also, and this one, okay? And I don't want to show any more the Fourier transform. I don't need it right now, okay? So if you don't know the propagation distance, you can create a four button from uh, let's suppose zero of 10 to 90 in 90 in and a step of 10. So when you create the output calling the angular spectrum, 
So in this case, the propagation distance will be the variable C, right? And here, uh, this is the code to display the output field. So uh, let's put here the units. So plus uh, in my limiters, okay? So uh, let's run this algorithm. So this is the hologram, the image, the window to select the region to create the spatial filter. And okay, the hardware will start to show different propagation distance. So this is the output for uh, 10 millimeters, for 20 millimeters, 30 millimeters, 14 millimeters, 15 millimeters, 16 millimeters, 70 millimeters, 80 millimeters. And okay, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. Um, uh, I hope to see you in a new video.